Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to go over installing Big Bear Cost OS user management on Cost OS. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today, Big Bear Cost OS user management. It makes it to where you can manage the users in your Cost OS system. So you can add users and you can do a database management to where you can reset the database completely, clear everything out, and then start from scratch on the user management system. Um, so you, I, I, you can also go up here to edit the current users too and add a new password. You can remove this user completely. Um, you can add a new user with a username and password right here, and then you click add a user right here. Um, so this is what I'll be installing today on Casa OS. So now I'm on the Big Bear community, and you can go ahead and join this. Um, so um, this user from the Big Bear community uh, came in here and let me know that they created a Python script to list all users, add its password, at add user and then remove user and then reset database. So I thought it would be a cool idea to package this up into a Docker container and uh, the user be able to run it with a UI without ha having to run Python. Um, so you can also go and see his original co code right here over in, in, in his repo. So um, you can go in here So what I did was I took this uh, .py file and then I converted it over to uh, work with Flask. So now I'm gonna start on Big Bear Cost OS and there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm gonna go over to the search and type a user and then now you see apps, Big Bear Cost OS user management right here. I'm gonna go down to the Docker Compose so now the Cost OS app name is called Big Bear Cost OS User Management. I'm gonna set some services, and the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Cost OS User Management. The container name is gonna be called Big Bear Cost OS User Management, and this is so Docker does not generate a random name. Um, so the image uh, is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then I'm gonna set a container restart policy. So it's on less stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, then it'll try to restart. And then run the container in privilege mode. We need this. And environment variables. So the Flask app, the Flask ENV is production. And then the admin a username, the admin password. Um, I would recommend changing these because this is how you get into the UI. Um, so the mount uh, ne necessary volumes right here. So I'm going to mount the necessary volumes. So a var lib cost OS DB. That's where the DB uh, is stored for cost OS uh, user management uh, and other things inside of your host uh, system. So I'm going to mount that to var lib cost OS DB. And then that's how I will interact with the da uh, database. And then we're going to map ports. So 5,000 on the host, 5,000 on the container. Um, do not change the cont a container's port, but if this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then the cap add is system admin. And then uh, security opt. And then the X cost OS information to explain the ENVs and the volumes and the ports. The cost OS information to explain this app to the App Store. So the architecture that the Docker image supports, and that's up here. This one is uh, IMD64 and ARM64. The main service is Big Bear Cost OS User Management, and that's this service right here. And then um, the, the description on the App Store, the tagline, the developer, the author, the icon, thumbnail, title, 
and then the category so people can go to the category of Big Bear Cost OS and only see all the Big Bear Cost OS uh, apps. And then the port map is 5,000. The tips down here is set uh, to before install. So when you click install, this will pop up a model box and then the contents will be this. So that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my COS OS and I'm going to go to App Store. And then um, this is where you can switch between a Big Bear COS OS apps. Um, I'm going to say Big Bear COS OS. Uh, so Big Bear COS OS, you guys are management right here. And you know if it's coming from Big Bear COS OS because of the category down here. So I'm going to click it and then I'm going to install. And then you can read this before install, but I'm going to say next steps. And then you can also continue in the background. And now what this is doing is to download the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, getting it up with Docker and pose underneath because it's easy using the Docker engine. Um, so now we got it up and running. So now I'm going to start on my cost OS and I'm going to go up here to the top right vertical dots. You can open in the web UI, you can set some tips. And if you click this and you go to the edit button right here, you can click it and now you can come down here and say testing and press this uh, check mark right here. And then it's saved, it reloaded the container in the background and you can go ahead and go to tips again and you can see it did save. You can go over here to settings and you can see the settings right here. So you can ch uh, uh, change things if you want. You can ch uh, change the, the admin password and the admin username right here. But by default, it's cost OS, cost OS. Um, so if you want to save the ch uh, changes that you've done, press the save button down here. You can go into the container like this and then you can see the logs right here. Um, so I'm going to X out of there. So you can export the Docker and pose in a file format uh, for COS OS. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and X out of there. You can check for updates from Big Bear COS OS, uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm going to start on my COS OS and I'm going to open in the web UI. So you can go up to these vertical dots and open from here or you can go in ahead and open it from the icon right here. So now you'll be presented with the sign in right here. So the, the default username is Casa OS, and then the default password is Casa OS, and then sign in. So now you can see the users in this. So the ID, username, the role, the actions right here. So you can go over here and edit their password. You can close, you can remove the user completely. You can add a new user. So I'm going to just say admin and then a password and then add user right here. And then you can see the user has been added to the database. Um, so you can change the password like usual and then re remove them completely and says, are you sure? And now they're removed from the database. You can also, um, reset the database completely so if you go ahead and do this and then it will say it's going to delete all users so i'm going to say okay and then now it's completely gone so you can go back over to your casa os refresh and then now you can see the welcome screen and you can go ahead and sign up again so let's sign up again And then create, and then we are good to go. So cancel. I'm going to go back over to the cost OS user management, and I'm going to refresh. So now you can see that there is a user again, and it reset the database. And then we're back in it. So that's how Big Bear Cost OS user management works. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting Big Bear Cost OS user management working on Cost OS. So uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.